Hi everyone, and welcome to Tech Solutions Hub YouTube channel. It's, your friend and technology instructor, Tech Wizard, and this channel is passionate about helping people who are blind or visually impaired to live more independent and fulfilling lives through technology by sharing and uploading the latest news and updates on technology for the blind. From time to time, you will be hearing different voices on the channel who will be covering everything from new assistive devices to accessible apps and softwares. This personalities will also be sharing tips and tricks on how to use technology to your advantage. We will be so glad if you can subscribe to the channel. I hope you'll find our videos helpful and informative. Please feel free to leave comments, share the videos, and suggest topics for future videos. Together, we can make technology more accessible for everyone. Hello beautiful people, welcome to another episode of our show. Today we will be doing a demo on how you can set up the commentary screen reader, which is also known as Jisho screen reader. What is Jisho screen reader or commentary screen reader as it's also known to be the name that is the international version well Jisho or commentary screen reader is an app that is used by the blind in reading just like talkback talkback is also a screen reader used by the blind in reading whatever that's on the screen so today we are focusing on commentary screen reader i would interchangeably call their names i might call it commentary screen reader or call it jisho screen reader so that's what we'll be doing today so we first learn how to install then we learn how to customize some of the basics which is needed to make the commentary screen reader work so we are going to the home screen and I will be going to where I have my Jisho screen reader so that I can get it installed that's file manager plus I'm using talkback for this particular demo you have to get talkback or any screen reader to be able to install commentary screen reader so you just have to be on the screen reader so I'm using talkback Plus. So I'm going to find Manager Plus where I have my plus. commentary screen reader, uh, Gisho Plus. So I'll be installing it from here. Plus. Click on it. So once you hear Gisho Plus or you hear commentary screen reader, it's the same thing. So I'll be swiping forward. And now I want to install it. Package installer. Package installer. Installing. Okay, it's installing. Package installer. Detect risks before installation. Okay, I'm swiping forward now. Detect risk before installation. I swipe further. Keep setting scan. Button. Keep swiping. Open. Button. Yes, I'm swiping forward. So I will open it now. Launch it open. Okay, that is the name. I told you I'll be using the names interchangeably so that you wouldn't get lost hearing me say commentary screen reader or Gisho Plus. It's still the same thing, still one and the same app. So let's swipe forward. There's a setup wizard usually. Though sometimes before I proceed with this demo, there are times you might want to install this app but since they are third-party apps your phone might just tell you that it's not able to install because you have to deactivate your other source for installing 
that is under settings it will refer you to settings where you can go and turn on the unknown source for installing your app so you have to turn it on before you can now install that third party app which might be considered as danger but there is no danger in it it wouldn't endanger your device it's just a warning because it's not uh, on the play store it's not a google app and so google always see every other app as a threat that is a virus but it's no virus so let's continue they're trying to install the app permission help button. it's asking for permission permission help button. go back to permission help plus. Permission help. click it open set up wizard button set up wizard button let me swipe further so i swipe backwards to set up, wizard button. set up wizard button click on it check permission status excuse swiping then you swipe to next so this is the permission it's asking if you want gsho plus to access video photo and other permissions on this device you swipe forward allow allow and click on allow button then let's swipe further invert swipe gesture button i usually advise you click on invite swipe gesture button and not used default gesture button so i click on invite swipe gesture button now it's asking for you to read usage hints do you want to use usage hints? Usage hints, if you click on it, usually, and you touch a particular icon, it will say double tap to activate. But usually, for those of us who are very, very used to commentary screen reader or talk back, we don't like to hear that double tap to activate. Me personally, I know I will have to double tap to activate, so I don't allow it. So I go to no button read the, focus list items index. read the focus list items index this particular feature has to do with it mentioning the number as you are swiping the icons it will be telling you one for instance might say one whatsapp two um maybe gsho commentary screen reader so if you deactivate this it wouldn't be calling the number it will just be calling the icons on the screen so lists are a very important part of the android user interface now you will decide whether you want the screen reader to read various information about the current list notably the index of the currently focused element or the display range of the list do you wish this information to be read well for me if it asks me if i would wish for this information to be read i simply click on no but for beginners you can decide to click on yes so like I said above, it will be calling the number of the icon that you are swiping onto. So I click on no button. Don't forget that we are still on the wizard button just to set it up. So we move to automatic. Please select whether you want the screen reader to read notifications. Notifications include incoming SMS messages, weather forecasts, or any other information generated by your device. It is recommended to enable notifications, but if you don't want to be interrupted during your work, it is recommended to switch them off. It is worth noting that commentary screen reader has a feature called notification box, which might make it much easier to view notifications on some devices. So on this particular page on screen, it's asking you if you want it to read your notification, and it's telling you that it's always recommended that you turn on notification but if you are the type that don't want your work to be disturbed you can decide to ignore the notification so i personally don't like this notification so i ignore it but you can decide to leave it on since commentary screen reader has two different screen 
readers on it. That is the one for the main screen reader and the other one for your notification to be read. So read notifications button. I go to don't read notifications. Don't read notifications button and click on it. Use a single TTS engine. Now this single TTS engine is another screen. It has taken you into another screen. And on this screen it will ask if you want to use a second screen reader for your notification engine. So usually I do accept it. Use a single TTS engine button. Use two TTS engines at the same time button. So I prefer to use two TTS engines at the same time. So I will click on it. The setup wizard has completed its work successfully. So it just said the setup wizard has completed its work successfully. And you are done with the setup wizard. So let's move on. Okay, button. We'll swipe to OK and click on it. Plus. Then let's move on. Check permission status. Now we are going to check the permission status. We click on it. Permissions not granted. And once it opens, it will say permissions not granted. So you move forward. Directly call phone numbers. Directly call phone number is one of the permissions. This app can appear on top of other apps. This app can appear on top of other apps. Request install packages. Requested store packages. Spotify system settings. Modify system settings. Read phone status and identity. Read phone status and identity. Commentary screen reader can read your ID calls. Record audio. Record audio. Access precise location only in the foreground. Access precise locations only in the foreground. Take pictures and videos. Take pictures and videos. Read call log. Read call log. Answer phone calls. Answer phone calls. Read your contacts. Read your contacts. Access location in the background. Access location in the background. Show notifications. Show notifications. Cancel button out of list. And then you swipe. To, there's cancel. Then there is okay button. Okay. Swipe to okay and click on it. Allow Gmail Plus to take pictures and record video. So this is another permission is asking if you want to allow G Show Plus to take audio and using the app button. record videos. So you click on why using the app. Allow Gmail Plus to access this device's location. So this is another permission. Allow G Show app to access this device location. I'm using the app button. Swipe to why using the app button and click on it. Allow G Show Plus to record audio. Swipe to I'm using the app button. So swipe to why using the app button and then click on it. Allow G Show Plus to access your phone call logs. Allow G Show Plus to access your phone call logs, of course. Don't allow button. Allow button. Swipe to allow button and click on it. Allow G Show Plus to access your contacts. Allow G Show Plus to access all your contacts. Don't allow button. Allow button. Click on allow button. Allow G Show Plus to make and manage phone calls. Allow G Show Plus to make and manage phone calls. Allow button. Swipe to allow button and then click on it. Check display pop up window permission status. Check display pop up permission status. Click on it. Display pop up window permission Very important. It said display pop up permissions has not been granted. So let's grant it. Cancel button. Grant permission button. Grant permission button. Click on it. Display over other apps. Now display over other apps display over other apps and keep swiping android auto and list app fault keep swiping until you get to g show plus calculator camera downloads face file manager google play google g show plus so launch it this open click on it display over other apps display over other apps allow display over other apps off switch and list so you swipe until here allow display over other apps and then you click on it. Allow display over other apps. Off. Switch. So you click on this. Allow display over other apps. You click on on. Switch. It's off now by default. So click on it. And let's swipe forward and backwards. 
Allow this app to display on top of other apps you're using. This app, allow display over other apps. On. Switch. So you see that it's on now. If you swipe forward, it will tell you what this means. Allow this app to display on top of other apps you're using. This app will be able to see where you tap or change what's displayed on the screen. Okay. So that is what it's, it's to be able to see where you type or change when displayed on the screen. So let's go out of it. Back button out of display over other apps. So this permission has been granted. Now let's go backwards. Back button. Plus. So let's keep swiping. Let's check for other permissions. Check it for battery optimization permission status. So click on this. Ignore battery permission status. Ignore battery optimization permission has not been granted. So it said it has not been granted. So let's grant it. Let's swipe further. Cancel button. Okay button. Swipe to okay. Lizuo plus. And let's keep swiping. Lizuo plus. Background settings and list six items. Okay. No restrictions. Battery saver doesn't restrict apps activity. Two of six. Checked. Battery saver recommended. Identify apps and activities that keep important processes going. Batter restrict background apps. Close apps after 10 minutes of background activity. 4 of 6. Restrict background activity. Apps will be closed to save power. 5 of 6. Finally, can identify apps with specific background processes, e.g. messaging and navigation apps, media players, and apply battery saver in a way that won't influence important background activity. Disabled. 6 of 6. Back button. Out okay, so this has been granted now. Let's go back. Visual plus. Check notification display permission status. So this is another permission status. Let's check check on it. Education display permission status. Notification display permission has not been granted. Okay. This has not been granted, so let's swipe to grant it. Cancel button. Grant permission button. So, so you swipe on grant permission button and click on it. Settings. So let's move forward. Allow notification patches, not checked. Show notifications, not checked. Checkbox. Allow notification patches, not checked. Checkbox. Disable. Not show notification. Show notifications, not checked. Checkbox. Which is not checked. Allow notification patches, not checked. Checkbox. Disabled. Allow floating notifications. Allow floating notifications, not checked. Checkbox. Allow lock screen notifications. Allow notifications on the lock screen, not checked. Checkbox. Disabled. Okay. Allow playing sound, not checked. Checkbox. Disabled. Allow vibration, not checked, checkbox, disabled. Allow permanent notifications, not checked, checkbox, disabled. Notification categories. This app hasn't received any notifications yet, disabled. So if you want all this to be enabled, you go to the first allow, one. Allow, 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 allow floating notification, allow notification patches, not checked, show notifications, not checked, che G2O plus, out of list. Back, G2O, show notifications, not checked, checkbox, and list. So, you check this. If you want the notification to be checked, let's see what the other features on this screen would say. Allow notification patches. Check. Check box. Okay, it's no more saying disable because you've, you've checked the first one. Show notifications. Check. Check box. So, it's checked. Allow notification patches. Check. Check box. This is also checked. There's notification badges. Allow floating notifications. Allow floating notifications. Checked. Checkbox. Floating notifications is also checked. Allow lock screen notifications. Allow notifications on the lock screen. Checked. Checkbox. Okay, this is checked too. Allow playing sound. Checked. Checkbox. Yeah. Allow vibration. Not checked. Checkbox. Allow vibration. Not checked. I guess we should check it. Allow permanent notifications. Checked. Checkbox. Allow vibration. Checked. Checkbox. Allow permanent notifications. Checked. Notification categories. Okay, let's keep swiping. This app hasn't received any notifications yet. Disabled. Back button out of list. So you're leaving this page. Visual plus. Show notification. Allow notification patches. Checked. Checkbox. Show notification. Visual plus. Back button. Visual plus. So we just left the page and now we keep moving. Check automatic startup permission status. Check automatic startup permission status. Let's click on this. That's just about the last one here. More button. Auto start. 29 apps can auto start. 1 of 60. Airtime loader. 2 of 68. 
29 apps can auto start. One of 68. So these apps are to be auto started. Airtime loader, two of 68. And to keep calling the apps. Checked, checkbox. Should be checked. All Nigeria radio, three I'm of 68. Looking for Jishua. Checked, check. Caller names, checked. Check. DS tuner, checked. Docs, check. six, checked. Check. Drive, seven, checked. Check. Envision AI, checked. Check. ETI eloquence, teeth. Checked, check, Facebook, 10 of 6, checked, check box. Instagram, 11 of 6, checked, check box. He posts, 12, checked, check box. Let's chat, 13, checked, check. Lock screen rotate, checked, check box. Lookout, 50, checked, check. Merge multiple, checked. Messenger, 17 of 6, checked, check box. Mid rock, 8, checked. Check. Microsoft launcher, checked. Check. Microsoft Swift key, checked, check box. My airtel, 21, checked. Check. Recorder, 22 of Checked, checkbox, Jisho Plus, running, 32 of 68. Not checked, checkbox. So Jisho Plus is not checked. So we have to check it here. And so we double tap to check it. Checked, checkbox, 27 of 68. So that's all we need on this screen. Back, button. Jisho Plus. About commentary screen reader. So this is just... A brief history about commentary screen reader. If you click on this to open it, it will tell you more about commentary screen reader. So that's just what this particular feature is all about. So, I believe we are done with that. Sometimes the G Show Plus might have bugs on it so all you need to do if you see it talking saying things like 20 million and all the calling numbers all you need to do is just to take it backwards just go back to your uh, previous screen and then you keep swiping Email general settings and list. so let's go into the general settings TTS volume ratio. Reduce the chance. Not checked. Checkbox. TTS volume ratio. TTS rate. This is TTS rate and... Setup wizard. TTS rate. Under general, the first thing you see is setup wizard, which we've just finished uh, attending to. Then the second is TTS rate. Let's click on this. TTS rate. 51. Checked. 50. Always leave it the way it is. Don't really tamper with it. So leave it on the rate it is, but this is where you can change the rates. That's TTS rates. TTS volume ratio. Reduce the chance. Not checked. Checkbox. Read the focused list items index. Not checked. Checkbox. Automatically read notifications from the notification bar. Not checked. Checkbox. Automatically read notifications from the notification bar. If you check it and you receive any notification, it will be reading it. So that's what this is meant for. If you click it, that's what it will be doing. Read the vote. Automatically read notifications from the notification bar. Not checked. Check box. So let me click it. Invert swiping gestures. Controls whether the swipe gestures are inverted for the default gesture scheme. When they are inverted, left and right swipes navigate by items. While up and down swipes execute the shortcut actions. Check. Check box. So this should be checked by, by default. Invert swiping gestures. Use custom gestures. Not checked. Check box. Use custom gestures should also be checked. Custom gesture scheme settings. So there is custom gesture screen settings. Click on it. Custom. And then you keep moving. Custom. Save. Share. More options. Button. Up gesture. Next navigation type. Function and list. So. This is where you customize everything. So we'll be doing this on the part two of this demo. So I will be stopping here. Next time we do something on this, we'll continue from the custom gesture settings. Commentary screen reader is such a wide scope that you can't finish everything in one demo. So we'll just be doing this bit by bit until we are able to finish the explanation the next time we come back here we we'll talk more on the custom gesture scheme settings all right 
so that's all you need to do so when next we'll be coming up on the part two of this demo we'll be discussing more on the custom gestures settings on how you can customize your gestures for commentary screen reader to be able to work effectively well i'll tell you how i customized mine so that i can be able to use the basic things i need so that's what i'll be doing and other features on commentary screen reader